album was recorded and the cover was supposed to have been like Tupac wrapped around like the American with the, the American flag wrapping him and I think it was supposed to be lit on fire or some shit like that but then I think um, of course Interscope Records had an issue with that so that's why you kind of had like the, this like computerized um, background and stuff like that cover and shit like that too um, yeah man Singles albums known for Holla If You Hear Me, which that track, Holla If You Hear Me, got him banned off MTV. One of my favorite Pac songs, in my opinion, um, I Get Around, Keep Your Head Up, which those last two songs I mentioned are probably two of his most popular songs. Like I say this is more of his breakthrough album. I love the song Last Words. That's my favorite track off this album. Personally, I feel like Cube had the best verse off that track. Um, Guess Who's Back. Papa's song, um, The Streets Are Death Row, no pun intended, um, Point the Finger, very, very, very dope album, you know, one of my personal favorite Tupac albums, and now my favorite Pac album, da, 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 Me Against the World, um, this came out in 1995, you know, this was not the original Me Against the World, because he definitely had to re-record it, because of the fact that, you know, he was facing, you know, jail sentence at that time because, you know, he got locked up off that sexual abuse bullshit. Um, of course, he got shot in Quad Studios. Y'all know the story with that. Um, this is known for songs like, you know, So Many Tears, Old School, um, Young Niggas, Heavy in the Game. Not a bad track off this album, in my opinion. Like, Pac, Pac's most best album, his most personal album. Like, this whole album, like, you never really hear an album in hip-hop like this, you know you know what I'm saying? Like, another motherfucker going introspective. Well, scratch that. I'm going to have to mention Scarface, too, because, you know, Scarface was an influence to Tupac and shit, you know? So, yeah, man, this was a very, very good album. And then we're going to get to um, All Eyes on Me. Um, This was released in 1996. Very, very, very good album. I remember my aunt actually got me this album when I was little. This is when I was really getting into hip hop and getting into CD collecting. And I was so happy I got this album. Like, shit, man. Um, this is known for songs like Only Guy Can Judge Me, Two For Miracles Most Wanted, Can't See Me. I mean, no lie, this is his most popular album by a lot of people. So. Yeah, All Eyes on Me, very dope album. And of course, um, it's not labeled as Tupac, but I might as well just put it with the Tupac collection. It's Machiavelli with the Don Cluminati 7 Day Theory album. This is his last album. And this is not a posh. I don't call it a posh because he actually worked on the album and it was actually planned on releasing because originally it was supposed to have been a mixtape. But, um... It got into a done album. I mean, very dope album. This is Pac's most rawest album since Strictly For My Niggas, if you ask me. Um, known for songs like To Live and Die in LA, which I kind of see like that more of like a California Love Part 2. Um, Bomb First, Against All Odds, which two diss tracks that I feel like are better than Hit Em Up. Yeah, I said it. You know, feel free to judge. Just Like Daddy, I love that track. Yeah, this album right here, definitely a very dope album. Uh, I feel like this is the album he always wanted to make on Death Row Records and shit. So, yeah, man, the album cover is just eerie as fuck, man, shit. Then we're going to get into the, um, the fucking, um, Are You So Down, Remember Me? This is the only posthumous Tupac album I will ever have in my collection. Um, because it's probably one of the, the few ones where they didn't tamper with it with no bullshit for sample clearances or whatnot. I mean, yeah, you did have some songs that I could have, like, prefer your OG version, but, you know, to each its own. Known for songs like I Wonder If Heaven Got a Ghetto, Hellraiser, Definition of a Thug Nigga, which that was also on the um, Poetic Justice soundtrack, too. So, yeah, this was a very dope album. Collector's item, in my opinion. Then we got um the greatest hits, the greatest hits um album and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
yeah this was a very this was his greatest hits that came out in 1998 so yeah there we have um third base with the cactus album or the cactus cd if depending on what um version of the album you have this was released on nine in like 1989 yeah we've recently done a review off this album i love this album very dope underrated album all right the last three albums we have is on 50 cent get rich or die trying this was released in in 2003 very dope album classic album um 50 you know definitely his major label debut you know signed to aftermath records you know known for songs like 21 questions whatever gangsta love that song many men many men is probably my favorite 50 cent song of all time uh back down one of the very best diss tracks and then we're gonna get into the masquerade uh this was released in 2005 when I first heard this album, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't really too keen on it, I wasn't a big fan, but now, we listen to this album now, this is definitely a very dope album, very balanced album, you know what I'm saying, you have his, the commercial songs and you have the street songs and shit, I'm not a fan of the Disco Inferno, I'm not a fan of Out of Control, I'm going to be real with you, but yeah, very dope album, known for something like Batman and Robin, um, Baltimore Love Thing. You know, um, just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? In My Hood, love that track. And the last album in my collection is A Ball and MJG on Top of the World. Um, this was released in 1995. Very dope album, my favorite album from them. Known for songs like Space Age Pimpin', Kick That Shit, Friend of Foe, Real Pimpin' Shit. All right, and that's all of the CDs I have in my collection. Thank you guys so much for being with me and pretty much you know watch me through the good and the bad i'm pretty much gonna start the album recap maybe late may i'm gonna give myself a few weeks so i can get everything together make sure everything's alphabetized right so hope everyone has a good night peace